All right, so in this project, we're going to be building an Ajax powered address book where we can store contacts and we'll be doing that in a, in a MySQL database like we have been and we'll be using PHP to run um, both select queries and inserts and updates. All right, so you can see this is all fetched with Ajax. Uh, if I reload, you can see we get the little loader GIF. Um, we're actually using the foundation framework, um, the HTML framework, which is very similar to Bootstrap. Um, I, I just kind of wanted to do, uh, I wanted to gear away from Bootstrap for a little while because we've used it quite a bit. Um, so you can go to foundation.zerb.com and basically the documentation is very similar to Bootstrap actually very similar I didn't know it was this close um, and you know you can find snippets for forms uh, things like that grids okay so that's what we'll be using as far as display framework um, and it also offers if I click on add contact we get this nice little pop-up box um, and that actually happens through the foundation framework um, and then if we click edit you can see that it's pre-filled with the the user's info. Um, if I change this to Johnny and submit, you can see that it, it, it updates through Ajax. Um, we can delete contacts easily. Uh, so it's 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 really it's a nice application um, if you want to learn more about Ajax and PHP about working to get with them together. So what I like to do is first we'll set up our application structure as far as files and folders. Um, we're not going to use any special PHP framework. Um, this will be very similar to, uh, what was it, the Talking Space or uh, one of the projects where we use the PDO class, the custom PDO class. All right, so that's what we'll be using. All right, so yeah, in this video we'll set up the structure. So I'm going to go to htdocs and I'm going to rename this, the final um, project result to done and then create a new folder for us to work in. All right, so in address book, we're going to create some stuff here. Let's create our folders first. We want a config file, I'm sorry, folder. We want a core folder. Okay, so we're going to store our init file in there just like we did uh, in the past. And let's see, we want a CSS folder, a JavaScript folder. Whoop. Image folder. Helpers. libraries. We're only going to have one library and that's going to be the, the database PDO library. Everything else will just be done through single files. Okay, so that looks good for the folders. Let's create the root documents. Okay, of course we need our index page. Okay, next we're going to have contacts.php okay the contacts page is going to have everything that's in here okay these these contacts when we reload oh actually you know what I changed it didn't I you can see that the little bars okay it's grabbing contacts.php and it's loading it through Ajax uh, let's see, new text, we want um, add contact dot PHP. And we want edit contact and delete contact okay so that's all of our f our root files um, now let's go to 
uh, config. We want just one file here called config.php. Okay, in the core folder, we're going to have an init file. Okay, um, let's see. CSS, we're going to fill that with the foundation um, files. So we'll just leave that for now. Uh, helpers, we're basically going to have one helper here. And I'm just going to call it system helper. Okay, um, what else? JavaScript. We will we'll also be creating putting our foundation scripts in here, but I'm just going to put our custom script that we'll be using, which is script.js. Um, same thing with CSS. We want a custom CSS file. All right, and libraries, we're just going to have one library or one class called database. Whoops. Where it's a class file, I like to uh, uh, capitalize the first letter. All right, so that's basically our app structure. All right, so. Um, what I want to do next, just like in all my projects, uh, I want to create the uh, the display, the HTML. Okay, so we'll just create a static template in the next video, and then we will, uh, when we create our application, we'll integrate our HTML template into our PHP application.